Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a fun and quick card to share with you. Well, it's not so quick really, but it's a quick video. Um, we're gonna do some textured stenciling and die cuts. In my last Pretty Pink Posh video for this month, I shared some ideas with the Picket Fence Studios Paper Glaze and Glitz and we are gonna revisit it, but we're gonna just kind of kick it up a little notch. So I am gonna start with this gorgeous, gorgeous Spanish moss color. And if you have seen any of my holiday videos or ta like cards, tags, anything this season, you will know that I'm obsessed with the Tim Holtz um, iced spruce color. I love it. Well, Spanish Moss from Picket Fence Studios really gives me the um, iced spruce vibes, but look at that shimmer. I actually just applied a super thin layer of it to a piece of 110 pound weight Nina Smooth White cardstock. I'm making my own uh, textured kind of cardstock to die cut. This was literally just a, um, oh, you know, experiment, I guess I should say, to see if this would work. Some worked, some didn't, and I will definitely let you know as we get to that point. This is a little silver sparkle, and I'm going to apply a nice thin layer of this as well to create another little sheet. I'm only gonna do about half the sheet, and I am trying to spread it really thin, you guys. The thinner, the better. Uh, and you're gonna need to let it dry. Now, I do think I would have had better results if I had let this sit overnight. I did not have that option this week, and so I ended up die cutting it probably after an hour or two, um, but I do think I, no, not probably two hours, probably an hour. I think if I'd let it sit overnight, I would have had better results. Now I'm going to take a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel of fall gray cardstock and stencil the layered mittens. And I shouldn't say better results. I had fine results, but I think they would have been real good results if I had um, given it more time. So here's that ice spruce I was talking about, and it looks amazing even on a colored cardstock background. I really don't want to ink my background today. I would rather uh, let the background start with the background color and apply the ink and the glaze and glitz over it. And that is where the fall gray cardstock comes in handy. I have talked about fall gray cardstock many, many times here on my channel. Uh, I've done lives where I've used this as my base. I have edited videos with this as my base. It is probably my, my favorite go-to quote unquote colorful background to do stenciling or stamping on if I wanna start with a colorful base because it's just so forgiving and it works with so many things. I am gonna apply the iced spruce through the mitten layer to create that all over background. Then we're going to take the next stencil and this is a three part stencil. It's not this one, by the way. I realized real quick I need to use the, the uh, decorative layering first. Um, we are going to apply a layer of paper glaze for the decorative parts of this stencil, and then I'm gonna let it dry, and we're gonna come back quite a bit later and do the rest of it. Because again, I want this to dry. I'm applying a super, super thin layer of this. We're going back to Spanish moss, and you guys, it looks amazing over iced spruce. I can't get enough of this, and what I really like is while this card could be holiday very easily, and I kind of call it elegant holiday. It could also just be a really great winter card. Maybe you need a winter birthday card. So think of these products outside of just holiday and how you can use them beyond. When this dries, absolutely stunning. Okay, so it actually has dried. Fast forward, the magic of video. We are going to do the cuffs of our mittens. That is the last stencil. And for this, we are going to be using the Arctic Frost, which is kind of a white shimmer. What I love is it almost gives that puffy, Sherpa-ish lined uh, mitten kind of cuff look. I love it when it's applied. Now, the reason you wanna do fairly thin layers of 
of especially if you're going to do a double stencil of texture paste like I'm doing here is because when you go to do that last layer you want your stencil to be able to lay fairly flat there is some texture under there so um, you kind of have to be a little careful but I wasn't super careful with it and I end up with amazing results when I peel this away look how awesome our mittens look ta-da I love this background I love it love it love it off camera, I did do quite a bit of die cutting, and that is to save some time. I die cut the mitten shaker die, and I didn't make it a shaker because I didn't want to cover up the background very much. I die cut the mitten shaker twice from Smooth White Cardstock, once from Vellum. And the reason I did Vellum is I am going to attach my mitten, and I'm going to do two layers because I think it just looks a little nicer because I want to kind of mute the background, but I don't want to completely cover it up. And vellum is the best thing for that, in my opinion. I love a good little vellum piece because it still allows you to get a peek through. And of course, you have all of the great detail around. Here is that cardstock piece. Now, you can see part of my big poinsettia tore when I die cut it, it probably wasn't all the way dry. That's what I was, that was one of the little things I wanted to talk to you about. Um, but I can hide that. We can hide it with the layering piece so I didn't worry about it. Now one of my leaves, you can see it there on the screen, that was die cut from silver. It tore as well. But it's tucked underneath the poinsettia so I'm going to use it anyway. And then I did die cut the winter wishes. I'm only going to use wishes. I did die cut that from the paper that had the Arctic Fox, not Arctic Fox, Fox Spanish Moss. And then from the winter foliage, I die cut some sprigs. Now the um, one pine tree did not die cut well at all, um, but the other one did. I don't know. Maybe if I'd let it sit longer, it would have been fine, but I just went with what I had. And you can see that I have die cut lots of pieces and most of them had no trouble at all. So um, it's kind of a trial and error, but I love it because it matches my card perfectly and it also gives some great shimmer. If you don't want to do this with a paper glaze, you can always use like mica stains. I'll refer you here at the end of this video to my other video, but I created a flower. I actually used that, that snowflake as a layering piece in my flower that is from the Mitten Shaker die collection. And then my sprigs and leaves are all silver. So my flower is the beautiful blue or Spanish moss. And then all of the uh, layering pieces, or layering pieces, all the foliage, the leaves, the stems, those are all from the silver glitz or the silver sparkle. I did stamp and emboss off camera the Happy Winter Sentiment from the Holiday Sentiments stamp set, also in the October 2022 Pretty Pink Posh release. Um, I stamped it with clear, embossed with silver embossing powder, cut, die cut it with a sentiment label die from Simon Says Stamp and popped it up in my cart. And this is where I combined the stamped an embossed sentiment with a die cut sentiment because I didn't want to use the whole winter wishes and I'm layering it over the mitten. Instead of the little dot on the eye, I used a snowflake from Pretty Pink Posh from one of their new mixes. And then I'm gonna use the marshmallow pearls in the center of my flower to finish it off. And that is it, you guys. Super simple, but super elegant. I think this card is so, so pretty. I love these colors together. I highly recommend trying some of these Picket Fence Studios glitz, glitzes and glazes because you're going to love them. The supplies I use to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring Pretty Pink Posh October 2022 release products that you might be interested in. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my amazing Patreon members. If you would like to become a member of Patreon, please click the link in the description below. We would love to see you over there as part of our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new card making video. 
Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.